This video is going to cover the installation and registration of Data Reviewer version 5.1.0. As you can see, I'm running Windows 11, which is actually running on a VM right now. And uh, this is going to simulate installing Reviewer for the first time. Now, you can certainly take Data Reviewer and install that on top of pre-existing installations, but do note that with version 5.1, the main significant change that we did with this version was change the licensing mechanism uh, for adding things like Enterprise and the various add-ons. So if you are on version 5.0.1, there really isn't an added value of upgrading to this version. However, if you are on an older version, by all means, please do upgrade to the latest version. To download a copy of Data Reviewer, you're going to need to navigate over to Eurotherm.com. Once we're here, we're going to navigate to Products, Recorder Software, click on Data Reviewer. And at the bottom of the screen there, there's a download section. Now note underneath the downloads, the file for running the installation talks about looking at a readme file before you install. So I do want to touch base on that real quick. Now, as mentioned previously, the main mechanism that changed within uh, Data Reviewer for the licensing um, is changed between the older version and this new version. And as a result, the two mechanisms are not compatible, compatible with each other. So in the event that you're running an older version of Reviewer and it's a version of Enterprise and or you're using any of the extra add-ons, uh, we will need to manually convert those over to the new licensing. This is all very easy to do. Uh, on your previous installations, you should have a license manager on your desktop, or you can certainly search for it if you go to your start menu and just uh, type in license manager. It's going to pull up a screen that looks like this with all your different licenses. All we need you to do is take a quick screen capture of this window and email that over to support. When we receive that email, we will issue you a new license for the new version of Reviewer. Uh, but this is important to know that because once you install the new version of Reviewer, if you have not obtained the new licenses, you won't be able to use Reviewer until you get those new licenses. So um, this is not applicable to Foundation. So if you're using Foundation, don't need to worry about this. But if you're on version 5.0.1 and older and have Enterprise or any of the add-ons, uh, please take note of this README and ensure that we get updated licensing before you start. That said, let's go ahead and get started with the installation. As you can see, I have the installation file here on my desktop, so I'm going to go ahead and get that started. Um, now, during this process, uh, you're going to be presented with a uh, prompt from your UAC stating this is going to install the program. Um, I'm going to use the general default settings, so pretty much clicking next on every window. Uh, do note that you will get a pop-up stating that you need to have 8 gigabytes of memory as well as 60 gigabytes of hard drive space. Uh, it's not necessarily a warning stating that you don't have it. It's more of a notice saying that you should you should have at least this much in order for a reviewer to uh, run efficiently. Uh, that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get started with the installation. And during this time, I'm going to speed up the video to get through it. And we'll connect once we are done installing. Okay, the installation is complete. Uh, it takes roughly about three to four minutes to complete depending on the machine you're installing on. Um, but once we're done, we can go ahead and click on finish. And now, although it's not a requirement, I do recommend that you give your machine a quick uh, restart. Uh, it only takes about a minute or so, but that just ensures that all the services are ready to start uh, for the first start of Data Reviewer. Again, completely a recommendation, but at this time, I'm gonna go ahead and restart my VM. Okay, with our machine restarted, we can go ahead and click on the data reviewer icon. Now just note, depending on the amount of resources that you have on your machine, um, all the services are starting. Uh, it may be a good idea just to wait uh, roughly you know, 10 seconds or so after uh, everything starts to ensure that uh, reviewer is fully functioning. Um, let's go ahead and get started right now. Uh, obviously this is a brand new VM, so I'm going to just go ahead and default to my edge. And again, when you click on the icon, um, as you can see here, it's going to load up um, your default browser here, and it should be loading the data reviewer real quick. Let's see here. Okay, so here we go. It's loading up the license manager. Now, this is a little bit different from older versions. Um, obviously, there's not much you can do here because it's wanting you to 
uh, register your software. And this is where it's going to be the big differentiator between the older versions and the new version. So let's quickly talk about some of the tabs going across here. Now, first things first, um, we need to activate data reviewer. So in the past, you could have 42 days before you had to register. Now we're saying you have to register immediately before you can start using at least foundation or uh, enterprise in one of the many add-ons that we have. So going across here, uh, what I would next do is go to registration. So I'm just going to go ahead and put in my information. And of course, you can put in any information here that you want. Uh, for this, I'm going to just go ahead and leave a blank. When you're ready and complete doing that, go ahead and hit save. I'll let you know that your details were saved. Go ahead and hit close. Next, we've got request new license quote, activate, and proxy. Before I get to these, these two, let me go ahead and talk about proxy real quick. In the event that your machine is sitting behind a proxy, this is where you can go in and put in that information. Uh, usually you have these problems uh, when you're trying to get outbound access, but uh, information is not coming back to you because it's getting stuck at a proxy. So if you want to get access, you can put in the information regarding the proxy to put in this information. Uh, alternatively, you can do this offline, but for this particular video, this assumes that you have uh, live access to uh, activate the uh, software. Now, again, you can always try the internet connection here. Uh, of course, I am connected, so I don't necessarily need to worry about it, but you also notice it via the little icon right here. Uh, next, we're going to go to activate. Now, what you'll notice here, the first time that you open up Data Reviewer, you've got a couple different options here. It's going to have a default license code uh, shown here, and this is actually the foundation license. So what you need to do is if you want to start with foundation or you only plan on using foundation, you can simply click on start with foundation, and that's all that's needed. Once we do this, then we'll be able to utilize Data Reviewer. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Start with Foundation. And what you'll see is License is loaded, and that's it. That's all that's required for registration. You won't have to go through uh, a different web portal to activate or set up your account. That's it. Now, what's going to happen here for the first time of running Data Reviewer, it's going to ask for a password. Now, this password is basically the administrator password that you would use if you need to reset the database or things of that nature. So this is not a password that you need to find somewhere. This is a password that you choose. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in a password of my choice. And once I'm done doing that, then I have access to Data Reviewer. Uh, now, of course, there's nothing really going on. This is a brand new installation, so I don't really have any data to show, but you can see I'm in Data Reviewer as we speak. So as we start importing data, then we can look at our da different data trends um, uh, spreadsheet view and etc. Now, if you want to take a look at your license or get back to where we were before, you can go to administration and go down to license manager. It's going to bring up the same screen we had before, with the exception that we now have access to everything else. Now, the reason why you might want to go back to license manager is if you need to input a new license. Okay, so when you get enterprise or any of the additional add-ons these are all handed handled via email so normally what you'll end up doing is you request a, uh, a license upgrade for reviewer um, and this will get processed and you'll get emailed a, a new license that you can simply replace here and hit activate license now note if we were to delete this and put in the new license it's going to ask you to return the foundation license first so it won't let you proceed without doing it, but it's telling you that in order for you to activate a new license, you have to return the license, okay? Uh, we're not gonna do that here. I'm not gonna activate um, Enterprise on this version, but note, this is where you can do it. So again, you'll receive an email with a new license, uh, return the existing license, put in the new license, and then hit activate, and your new version will be activated. The last tab over here is the request lic upgrade license quote. Now. In order to do this, this is an automated way to basically get um, access to features that you normally have to pay for. Now, these are limited to 90 day or three month trials. And so, for example, if I wanted to test enterprise, but I also wanted to utilize the OPC server that's in reviewer, I would click on this particular option that I wanted. And of course, if I wanted auditor or schedule report, I can click on those as well. When you click on this, the next thing you will do is create email request. Now, what this is telling me here is this is basically a code that gets emailed to the respective inbox 
stated here. So what we're telling you to do is go to eurotherm.com slash contact us. And here you'll have a bunch of different uh, email links that you can utilize. And you basically copy this to clipboard, paste this in your mail and send this to that email box. And this will give you, uh, this will go to our uh, inside team, which will then process this and email you a temporary license good for 90 days. And at that time, you can take those licenses that are sent to you, go over to activate, put them in here and activate, and you have got 90 days to use that feature. Uh, when the 90 days is over, it's going to revert back to foundation. And if you later decide that you want to purchase those, um, you can go through the process of purchasing the upgrades and then putting in the permanent license uh, here as well. And that's it. That's all that's needed.